Welcome to the stock market morning prep video for Wednesday, November 26th, day before Thanksgiving, and the markets have done absolutely nothing this week other than the gap up on Monday. We have a plus or minus uh, in the Dow Jones, uh, down 296, NASDAQ up 336, S&P down $2.38, and the Russell down 61 cents. Very, very quiet trading. We did hit a small uh, interim low around 10, 10, 15, and then we just kind of rallied. Uh, in chop mode. I mean, this has been the boringest November that I have recalled in many, many years of trading. It's very, very quiet. Very quiet. And I'll show that to you in a 30-minute chart. I'm just going to run through the indices. I don't think anything is going to happen into between now and Friday. And if anything, we're going to get a probably a slow grind up uh, today. And then Friday, um, seasonality trends actually point to a positive Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, which would be Black Friday. So if you are short looking to get short, I would just kind of um, put the account away for the rest of the week, enjoy the holiday with family and friends, because it is absolutely boring. There is nothing going on. And you have, you have this November, you see, uh, if, you, if you take the daily chart and you dial it down to a 30-minute chart, you would see that all of these closes these are happening at the end of the day where shorts cover, boom, we make new highs. Shorts cover, we make new highs. And it's all that squeeze that's happening. Uh, with absolutely no sellers around. I mean, it is quiet. It's very, very quiet trading. Now, um, that bodes well for uh, swing traders. If you're long, um, you know that you stay long. And if you're day trading, you really have to, you know, pick that trend early on during the day and then really go from there and see where um, where the markets are, or how the markets are reacting uh, during the intraday uh, movement. Uh, but we get a lot of this chop during the day, and um, it's uh, there's no follow through. And then at the end of the day, we get a little bit of a push, and then we close at its highs again. So uh, markets are extremely overbought. I don't have to show this to you in the MACD stochastics. We have no volume on this big move up, and we're up 28 trading days above the 8 and above a 5-day. Five, 5 days been over 60 years that we, have, that we haven't done that, and then the 8, I believe, is four times in the last 20. So um, um, big phenomenon going on here. This is pretty crazy stuff. Uh, we haven't closed below that in that in, in that time frame. It's it's a, a a big, big move and on no volume, no less. Uh, and they say that the trend is strong. I mean, the trend is strong when there's no sellers. If there's no sellers, then obviously the markets are going to just continue to grind higher. I don't know if the trend is strong, uh, but we're at these percentiles in the uh, momentum indicators and oscillators that we really have to take caution here. So. Um, obviously, if you're long, stay long. Just tighten up your stops because at any given moment, we can actually uh, pull uh, pull back and get a little bit of a correction. Now, we do come into a little bit of weakness the first two weeks of December because of tax selling, okay? And then we uh, we kind of finish up strong at the end of the year. So we're going to start December 1st, I believe, is Monday. Um, so we're starting a new month, and this is the last uh, trading month of the year. So um, just... Play it right, and uh, remember, don't get too aggressive here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a pullback. I mean, I'm still looking at at least maybe get to that 20-day or even just above it or even below the 8, somewhere in here, maybe 203, 204 uh, in the spiders before we push up and make new all-time highs again. So that's where I'm really kind of looking at. But let me show you what the 30-minute is, and you can see what this whole month of December has been. We've gone nowhere. This was the, um, uh, the big uh, um, Japan... Um, central bank intervention we jumped up on that we went sideways for four days we rallied for two we went sideways for another five days we rallied for three and now we're in sideways mode again so this is what it's been it's absolutely terrible terrible price action and when you see this you have to be aware of it now if you're a scalper you're having a great time but if you're a, a swing trader for the day you see these candles and if I open them up we go nowhere I mean we literally have gone nowhere during the day once you make that big move up uh, the markets don't even try to fill the gap. They, you know, uh, the markets are well bid up, and um, any little dip that's uh, that's been um, that's hit has, has usually been bought. So just keep that in mind, guys. Okay. But what I will show you on this 30-minute chart here, let me open up the chart a little bit more, is that we are building energy again. So we are building energy, and that is um, uh, a good thing because maybe we start to either push up higher and get more volatility or even lower, which I'd like to see lower prices. It's healthy for the markets and then push up higher towards the end of the year. But energy is building. We don't know which way this is going to go, but just keep that in the back of your mind when you're trading today. 
All right, diamonds, again, inside day for three full days. We had that pop up on Monday. All of the charts are saying the same thing. Bollinger Bands are starting to pinch here, but uh, needs a little bit more uh, contraction here. And then we take a look at the transports. Same thing with the transports. You can see transports actually had an outside day yesterday, uh, and it has been on fire. I mean, literally on fire. And the volume has been much better, as you can see, versus the last couple of months here. So the transports, if anything, is confirming uh, that we do have um, – some uh, bullish energy in the markets and that is nice because you see that volume if you're a bull okay um, the Russell if anything we have this double top here that we've ha uh, had we try to break out and we close just on the line but all of the month of November if you could see here what have we done we've gone nowhere we've been up we're down so we have this little sideways consolidation and a little bull flag identified early in the month of November we did break out of it and then we failed again so now we've caught that 20 so we're, if you look at this, we're just if you look just from here to here, we're sideways consolidation, which is healthy for um, for this index. So if we do break, we we should break out higher. Um, I'd like to see the market pull in a little bit uh, in the next couple of days, two, three, four days, and then break out higher. Which uh, the small caps tend to lead the other five indices that I just showed you. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you want to trade something and then want to look for a bullish trend. The IWM or the Russell 2000 index is really your um, uh, is a place to be here at the last two mm, two to two and a half weeks of December. Okay, and then lastly is the Qs, Doji and the Qs uh, yesterday. Apple actually uh, made again all time highs and then started selling off closer to the end of the day. So just keep that in mind, guys. All right, be careful. Um, stick with the trend. The trend is up. We want to buy pullbacks. We want to look for stocks that have based for a few days and now is breaking out again. That is what you want to look for. Okay, but don't be a hero in this market that's really, really not doing much of anything. If the market is going to roll over, it's going to give you plenty of time to get short. Don't short just because the market's up here, okay? Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Have, be safe. Enjoy. Eat a lot of food. Uh, I will be back with a new update on Monday. I'm taking Friday off um, because we do have a half a day on Friday, all right? Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Take care.